Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, January 10th, 2022. The tarot card for today is the Two of Wands from the deck 78 Tarot Astral by artist Megan Lynn. Astral is deck number four out of the ones which 78 Tarot has produced so far. Ah, you know, this is a great collection to own but I don't know that you can find many of them unless you check places like eBay because they are wildly popular. Um, they have eight decks so far with the eighth deck shipping next month if you want to get in on it. It's a really great deck. I have an advanced copy. It's 78 Tarot Animal. So give them a follow. Give Megan a follow. She's doing a giveaway right now. And she has not only her artwork, but also the artwork of Jasmine Beckett Griffith, who so many of you out there follow. Anyway, I, I rambled today. I want to apologize for yesterday. Uh, things don't always go the way they're supposed to. And I very rarely miss a day. I think we can count on one hand without filling it up over the years how many days I've missed. But this was a, a tough couple of days. Anyway, I'm back. Now, as for this card, I really like it for a Monday. And I'll tell you why, because it's that, you know, when, when the possibilities open up and you have choices, right? Yeah, the choices right now, I know, Mercury is about to retrograde in four days. On the 14th, it's going to start its retrograde in the sign of Mercury. You know, so, right, see, you see how I am in the sign of Aquarius. Now, we also have a Venus retrograde going on until January 29th. But does that mean that you can't choose a path? Something tells me right now that you're eyeing up the directions the choice is not just yet kind of like uh, traveling two paths at one time did you ever see one of those things maybe where somebody had to cross a body of water but they didn't have one beam and maybe they had a um well, let's say it was like a ladder and some of the rungs were out so they had one foot on each side that's kind of how it feels to me right now and i'm not sure why but i think because we still have uranus retrograde and we have these two other retrogrades to deal with um yeah it's kind of like a little iffiness that's there but boy this is a great card and today's moon is going to move from Aries into Taurus, and this is during the morning hours. So after that, we have two aspects that are coming up, a sextile between the moon and Jupiter, and another one, which is one we'll talk about as well, the sun sextile Neptune. When it comes to moon sextile Jupiter, I have nothing but good things to say. You know, it is Monday, maybe you need to be working, but it's a, a rather social atmosphere that surrounds the moon, you know, for the better part of your day. So when I look at this, honestly, you know, Jupiter is not just a social, but it's expansive and it's all about people. And it kind of like opens up this web of optimism and the possibilities of meeting people who, and it's not done in a way where people use one another, it's where they benefit one another. And, you know, given the card that we have, you know, when you see possibilities opening up, it might be a while before you get to tap into them. But remember today, even if it's only an online encounter, people that you may come across who open up these possibilities before you, because the road is going to be there. I have no doubt in my mind. Okay, Sun Sextile Neptune. Hmm, this is an interesting one because with the retrograde energies going on, you know, making something into something is not necessarily in one's best interest. But, you know, when the creative processes are flowing, you kind of got to go with it, right? Remember how I said it's like, you know, you, you've got directions here and choices that are here. But this particular transit is one which really, and it's not just about the social parts of it. It's about your creativity, you know, being there and feeling confident about what you're doing. I really like this. I think that you'll find that somewhere down the road, things that you, you know, want to bring to life will be very much to your benefit. I would not, you know, 
say, ah, forget about it, you know, Mercury's going to retrograde in a couple days. Go ahead, you know, at least get your thoughts down, whatever your creative process is, you know, put it somewhere where you have everything that you've imagined in one spot so that you can come back to it because there's going to come a day when I say to you, it's time to launch and you're going to want to be ready. So there's a lot to do and directions to choose. The road is going to open up sooner rather than later. So stay close. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.